talked about kind of the tech and the preferred reference method for doing these measurements is mass over volume. But then there's also light scattering um, techniques here that we use. That's what the air beam uses to, to do a measurement. And so basically, the setup is pretty similar in these things. And I brought a demo one here of what the old air beam used to look like. So they used to look like Mickey Mouse, and now they look like a ghost. Just throwing it out. Copyright so, infringement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a, a mouse versus a ghost. How about that? We'll keep it, yeah, not, not calling out any specific companies. Um, but basically, this is going to work the same way. You're going to draw air through, um, except instead of it going, um, collecting onto a piece of filter paper, you have basically a continuous light source going through, and then you have a kind of chamber where the particles can pass through um, using like a fan. It's just kind of instead of a pump, circulating the air through that way. You've got a light source and then a photo detector. And essentially what this does is ma measure the scattering. So particles scatter light, right? So the more particles you have in here, the more scattering that you can get. And that's what this detector here is going to measure. Um, it's, and certain wavelengths are scattered better than others by particles. So this is emitting like a LED, a specific wavelength that we know is kind of easily scattered by particles. You let it run for a while, and that's kind of how it's doing the measurement that way. So um, because of that, because it's a lot less, you know, it's a lot smaller of a technique, it allows this measurement to be done a lot faster. So what we're talking about, the FEM, the federal methods that you use for measuring particles it takes an hour, it takes 24 hours. These are done basically every second, this measurement can be done. And you'll see that the air beam is capable of doing that measurement every second. So you get a lot more information a lot quicker, uh, which is really interesting, which is what allows it to be kind of this mobile platform that they'll walk around with and do measurements with. So um, I can pass this around if you guys kind of want to look at the innards of an air beam. You can see this one. Obviously, it's not really functioning, so it's not, if you hit the button, it wouldn't do anything, so it's fine. You can mess with it a little bit. The uh, air beam that you guys will be using, again, has all the same components in it, just kind of a little bit revamped of a version, um, kind of a little bit better photo detector, a little bit better of a fan system to kind of pass the air through. So... I think that's, all right, so I guess that's all that Chapter 5 really has 